Fatini. A big chip through then, finding Tardelli again. One of the hard men in Italian football, of course, and there are plenty of those around. Rossi, Fatini might try one from here. Brilliant save by Romilov. Fatini really struck that one then. The man who's nine goals this season, making the leading scorer in the Italian league. And just look here for the athleticism of Bruce Grobbilla. This is Bonini. Again, it's a patient build-up here by Juventus. And certainly not dissimilar to Liverpool and Star. This is Pavero going through. And so nearly scored too. What a strong break then by Pavero. The man who's replaced the fierce of Gentili in the Juventus side and not far away there. Bolt, who's made quite an impact since coming into the Liverpool side in this reshaped midfield. There's Nickel now operating on the right. A strong and positive run there too. And the shot from Neil. And Bordini perfectly positioned. There's Neil again. It was his shot there that tested Bordini. Liverpool's first real opportunity of the match so far, set up by Nickel at Deal Shop. A success in the European Championships. And here's Platini again. It's Botniak who's gone through the middle. Found two by Platini. And Neil away. Botniak so close there. The intelligent chip through. Sheer genius, really, by Platini. Robilar stranded. And Neil anticipating. Juventus back in possession here with Bonini to Platini. Again, striking the ball through so cleanly. Off goes Boniak. Danger threatening here. Magnificent goal by Boniak. That was a classic goal by the Polish international. Set clear of Liverpool's defence. He showed his acceleration there. And beyond Grovilla into the far corner. Five minutes to half-time as the big new Boniek has given Juventus the lead. His contract is up at the end of the season and there's some speculation that he may not stay, but that's a quality finish. Boniek, whose pace was simply too much. Now can Liverpool come straight back? Here's Rush, we haven't seen too much of him in this first half. Wriggling through there, and Juventus struggling to get the ball away. Kennedy driving in the shot. They want Tardelli, walk! Just wide of the far post. It's a clear cut chance then for Liverpool. John Walk on the end of it. So prolific a marksman in Europe. 22 goals he scored for Ipswich and Liverpool. Tardelli. Matini. Barashi. So Rossi down here now though for the cross in. There's Barashi in the middle. Robila. Somehow managed to hold on to it. Again, the break instigated by Platini. Rossi with a cross in, and it was Barashi whose header produced that save, a fine save too from Grobila. Boniek. Platini's ball through, and Boniek is away here. Just past the near post. Paul and Grobel are there angry at uh, the linesman. I think he felt was offside there, but no flag. Boniek was away, and his pace has really troubled Liverpool tonight. Liverpool hoping to win the European Super Cup for the second time, and the first British club to win it in 77. Still trailing here. Bonini, all mistake, and a chance there. Paul Whelan. And Bonini to be alert there. Mistake by Bonini. And the goalkeeper right behind the shot from Whelan. Cabrini. Came off Neil. Here's Priyashi. Well, the Liverpool defence again extended here. Priyashi's turn. There's Boniek. That's two. And Boniek has got both the goals. Set up by Briashi, and nobody picked up Boniek as he steered it into the corner. The man whose future 
Is it down? What a reply from him tonight. Riashi finding Bodiak. And Grovilla motionless on his line. Liverpool have a free kick here with Phil Neal, their captain. Chance now for Walsh. Walsh rather snatched at that. He hasn't got much change out of the Juventus defence tonight. Paul Walsh, and well wide there with the shot. Platini. Crowd rising in anticipation as Bodiak goes through. Can he complete his hat-trick here? Blocked by Gillespie. It's Rossi's shot. It's tipped over the bar by Grobila. Again, he's denied the Juventus side. This time, Rossi. Bodiak set through here by Platini. So often that's been the case tonight. Bodiak, the shot there, charged down by Gillespie. It falls for Rossi. And only the expertise of Grobila keeps it out. There's a scrap going on there in the middle of the field. The referee has had one glance at the watch. There indeed goes the final whistle. It's all over. The end of the 1985 European Super Cup. The winners, Juventus by two goals to nil. Deservedly so too. They feed the more creative side over the 90 minutes. And could this be, I wonder, a dress rehearsal for the European Cup final? It's disappointment again for Liverpool. Here at Turin, they've lost by two goals to nil to Juventus.